Hey, Spook. How's it going? Pretty good, but I'm hungry, though. You could make me some food. He can talk. You see, wonderful shenanigans like this happened all the time in the 90s. Me being a kid, however, I only got to see bits and pieces of it and really barely understood it. But the one thing I do remember is all the brilliant fucking cartoons that came out through every fucking station. It seems like every station was having their own run of the mill, let's see who can have the best cartoon network show all over the all over the fucking world. Yeah, I'm not talking about just cartoon network, okay? I'm talking about Nickelodeon, Disney, freaking even fucking Fox Kids, back when Fox Kids was a thing. Does anybody even remember Fox Kids? Damn, how old am I? So I was thinking the other day, like, which cartoon had the best intro? You guys know where I'm going with this, right? That's right, guys. It's time for another top 10. This top 10 is top 10 90s cartoon intros. Now, for this list, it's going to be really simple. It has to be a TV show in the 90s, and it had to have an awesome intro. I was trying to stay away from uh, certain types of freaking 90s shows, but they might appear on this list. So, here we go. Number 10, Doug. Okay. If you don't know this song, I mean, okay, this this whole top 10 list is stuff from the 90s. So people that were born 98, 99, and above, you probably won't get any of this stuff on this list. Just letting you know now. Doug was a show about this preteen kid that was trying to just fit in. And his intro, everybody knew his intro. If you heard it from the next room over, all you heard was dude, dude. You knew what was coming on, and I, it wasn't one of the shows that I would like run and break my leg trying to get to the TV to watch it. But it was a very interesting show. That in his intro was pretty kick-ass. Number nine, X Men, the animated series. Okay, so I know you guys probably heard of the X Men before from the comic books, movies, and etc. But before it was a award-winning fucking movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say it straight. But... But before it was, uh, after it was a comic book and before it went to the movies, it actually was a TV show that used to come on in the 90s and on Fox, uh, Fox Kids. The reason why it's up so low on this list was because there is no real words or anything to the intro, but the intro still got you pumped up like... Yeah, so that's all I got. <laughs> Number eight, Cat Dog. Nickelodeon, once again, comes, comes with... A fucking very weird concept, but a still a pretty good show. Cat Dog is a story of a cat and a dog that somehow are fused together. There's lots of theories going around, going around that you know how they came stuck together. One say they were born that way, another one says that they were good friends to save each other's life, and they always wanted to be together, so they sold themselves together. Who fucking knows? But all I know is the intro was very catchy. A lot of people, a lot of people in the '90s, they grew up. Watching the show, probably couldn't say the, the intro as perfect as the other, as it first came out. Fuck, I'm gonna try, 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 I'm gonna try. This is my attempt. My attempt. One fine day with a wolf in the purr, a baby was born and it caused a little stir. Ooh, nobody, no three eyed frogs, a feline, canine, little cat dog, cat dog, cat dog. Alone in the road with a little cat dog. Alone in the world with a little cat dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. Alone in the world with a little cat dog. All right, so I think I did all right. I think I did all right with that little intro, but the intro got you like, hey, it was catchy. It was like a uh, 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 country man talking, telling a story, which it pretty much was. So. Number seven, Tiny Toon Adventures. Now, Warner Brothers made a lot of shows. I mean, a lot of shows. Um, so many that I think I could just make a list with just nothing but their shows. So out of all the ones that they had, I'm gonna pick this one. Uh, Tiny Toon Adventures is pretty much a play on all the big cartoons that you knew, Bugs Bunny, Porky Pig, Elmer Foot. if they all had kids or all had little, little critters that were trying to be like them or, you know, it's kind of like a kid version of Looney Tunes. The reason why this one is on the list is because the show intro was freaking very catchy. They were pretty much just explaining what you're going to expect in the show. I believe one of the words are they're tiny, we're toony, we're all together loony. 
I mean, because they're tiny and they're toony. They're tiny tunes. They're loony tunes. I mean, come on, something's clever to Number six, Beetlejuice. All right, so Beetlejuice was a cartoon based off the Tim Burton movie of the same name. So Beetlejuice was about uh, if Lydia from the, from the movie and Beetlejuice were friends. And Beetlejuice brought her to the underworld and they just had a lot of fun. Uh, the reason why this intro is on this list is because it was a freaking pretty catchy theme song. Um, I'm pretty sure nobody in the world probably even remembers this show. I do because it was a good show to me. Number five, Ed, Ed and Eddie. I swear to God, the way I just said that, it was, it's like it was in the freaking show. Okay, everybody knows who Ed, Ed and Eddie are. Uh, and everybody knows their theme song. When I was a kid, Ed, Ed and Eddie first came on, it actually helped me learn how to whistle more because the theme song was so freaking great. Um... When this show came on, every kid in my house would run to the TV because everybody loved Ed, Ed and Nettie. And everybody got up and danced into the, the like jazz beat. It was like a jazz beat uh, intro with a little whistling in there. So it was pretty fun, it was pretty good, and it was great. Number four, Rocco's Martin Life. This is number four. Just, just letting you know, can you see it? This is number four. Rocco's Martin Life. Now, they had two intros. Uh, the first intro was is the one that I picked because the first intro was fucking rocking, all right? It was Rocco's Martin Life. Rocco's Martin Life. Yeah, it was It was, It was. was one of those shows where it was kind of got crud humor, that crude humor. You know, like that humor is kind of disgusting, but at the same time, pretty funny. Uh, Rocco's Martin Life was a very, had a very catchy intro. It sounded more like a rock and roll uh Kind of, kind of gave me like a Beatles vibe, uh, earlier like a modern Beatles vibe for the show. Pretty much follows his little wallaby and him living his modern life. Getting into hijinks, getting fired, getting hired, and all that stuff. Number three, Arthur. Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. Yes, okay, I'm talking about that Arthur, PBS Arthur. Uh, PBS didn't have that many good TV shows, I'm not going to lie to you. PBS has some shit shows, but Arthur was like the best one out of all of them to me. Uh, Arthur, the theme song for Arthur was really cool because it was actually wrote by Ziggy Marley, who's Bob Marley's brother, which is really awesome. So to have a legend want to write the song and sing it every episode, come on, it's gotta be high up on this list. Number two, Pokemon. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. It's still a 90s show. It's a 90s show based off a video game, but it's a 90s show. Um, if you don't know what Pokemon is, I'm going to shoot you. Pokemon theme song is one of the theme songs that's absolutely legend legendary. It's one of the songs I would probably teach my kids when they get old enough. Because that's a show, that's a song that everybody knew. If you go in, into a crowd and go, I want to be the very best, somebody in that crowd or if the whole entire crowd will go like no one ever was. Pokemon is the fucking theme song of everybody's childhood. It's it's up there. It's up there really high. And that's why it's some number two on this list. But there's one guy that's even higher. Now before we get to the top the top spot, I wanna let you guys know there was a lot of 90s shows. I like a lot of 1990s cartoon shows that could have been on this list. It could have been a top 25, but it was, you know, way too many. So I had narrowed down to my favorite 10. These are my favorite 10. But here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> Number one, the Cartoon Cartoon Friday Show. I don't know if anybody is going to remember this, but way back when Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, back when all those guys first came out, back when they all first came out, Friday, every Friday there was a block from about, I would say from about 6.30 all the way to about 9 o'clock where they played nothing but all these shows in the row. So what the developers, well, I guess what the people at Cartoon Network decided to do was make a block and call it the Cartoon Cartoons Friday Show. Every Friday, a new episode of all these cartoons would come out. And as new cartoons came, more new cartoons came in, they added them into the show. This, this is number one because it is a collection of all of them. And if you, the intro, if you watch the intro, if you go back and look at it again, you see everybody. You see everybody. Cowman Chicken, Carrie Shikari Dog, Dexter, 
Johnny Bravo. If some even some kids next door things coming later on after kids next door become a thing. Powerpuff Girls. Everybody was in this one little intro, and it was all of them singing. They were all singing like to you, to you, the audience. Like it's here. The show is starting. The block is here. And what was cool about the show was every time the show came on, there was a new host from a different cartoon. One time, I remember Johnny Bravo was the host. Another time, the mayor, the mayor from Powerpuff Girls was the host. Uh, hell, I think Double D even was a friggin' host of it one time. It's so so cool to see all these cartoons come together and like it's like they were working on the show. Like there were no human like you know things added in. It was just straight up cartoons. And that was what made Cartoon Network so awesome back in the 90s because Cartoon Network back in the 90s really wanted to connect and show you that this is a cartoon network. This is nothing but cartoons showing here. Cartoons coming to make you laugh, coming coming to do, make you brighten your day. It got you pumped for Friday. And when that song came on, I slid into that living room with a bowl of cereal. It was 7 o'clock at night, but I still had a bowl of cereal because I'm different. And I watched that show all the way until it fucking went off. That was, man, I freaking miss it. I miss it a lot. Whew. And so goes it. Another list is done. Well, doing this list, I actually got to look at a lot of old school, like, intros. And it made me very nostalgic thinking, like, I used to watch it. I remember that show. Have you ever went back and watched, like, like YouTube videos of, of the old 90s intros? And you're like, I remember that show. Even though nobody else around you remembers it, it's great. It's really great. Like I said, like I always say in my in my in my videos, this is my personal opinion. If you have your own opinion, please leave it down below. It'd be interesting to see uh, what 90s intro did you really like. I know I got away from a lot of the other shows, but I tried my best not to pick multiple shows from the same network. You know, Nickelodeon's on here a couple times, so I couldn't put. I want to put Rugrats, but you know, I had to wait between Rugrats, Doug, Cat, Dog. I mean, it's it's a lot of stuff, but. Leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and tune in next time for another exciting list. I wonder what the next list is going to be. Oh, would you look at that? I have the next list.